Well, another review here, and um, got a little buddy here. He's nervous and scared because it's a new house, but got my cat, Captain Hook. How you doing? He's like, put me down. I'm just trying to get used to this damn place. Anyway, in the last video I mentioned, um, I was going to do some different things. Mostly beer review still, but a few different things. And I mentioned bum wine, so I decided Ooh. yesterday, why not pick up some bum wine? Got some, I got the... Uh, curtains down so you can't really see or there's some glare but Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill flavored citrus wine says here country style premium quality serve very cold well I don't know how premium this is I think it's like 350 a bottle with taxes is like four bucks so yeah like I said not sure about premium but we'll get to that Alcohol is seven and a half by volume. And it says here, citrus wine with natural flavors. I hope to God they're natural. A refreshing taste of lush ripe strawberries, vented and bottled by Boone's Winery. Modesto, California. Okay, and it contains sulfates like just about every other wine. And that's really about it. I've opened this. I got two bottles yesterday, and as you can hear, this is carbonated. I don't have a wine glass, but most people drink this with, you know, out of the bottle in a brown bag. So we're still going classier than it's meant to be. Let's pour this up. But yeah, I uh, I got two bottles for like eight bucks. So yeah, it's cheap. We can go ahead and give it a couple points for being cheap. And I'm just going to preface this. Again, this is a bum wine. If you don't know what a bum wine is, imagine someone hanging out in front of your local liquor store and they just look like shit and they haven't, you know, bathed in a, in a while. And they got a brown bag. Well, they might have some cheap liquor or if they're, you know, a little more milder, they don't want to, like, just go get completely trashed. They might get something like Boone's Farm. I will go ahead and say this. It's better than MD 2020. I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way. And I'm also going to get one other thing out of the way. If someone invites you to a dinner party, for the love of God, don't bring the Boone's Farm. Just, just letting you know. Unless the dinner party's in a crack house. If it's in a crack house, then you're going to be like, Boone's Farm, nice. It's better than the Mad Dog. Anyways, you can see the color is very, very, very light. Um, especially with the curtains off. You can see straight through this thing, no problem. There's just like a very slight, like a purplish pink tint. Yeah, this make this make uh, this makes white wine look pretty dark by comparison. Like this is really light, and the smell like a strawberry juice. Just I don't know. It just has just a basic like it's strawberry flavored. That's mostly what I get. I'm going to take a swallow, and I can already see this is going to be a quick quick video because there's not much to say about Boone's Farm, honestly. Yeah, it's sweet. It's very light. And at the end, you do get a hint of a tartness like you would with a lot of wines. But honestly, I know starting out this video, I talked a lot of trash, but I kind of like Boone's Farm. I actually do. I will get a bottle. It's been a minute since I got this, or, or until I got these last two. It's been a few months since I've had it. But honestly, if you're cheap as hell and you want something in your fridge besides beer all the time, but you don't want to go completely white girl and go, I'm going to get some claws, then you would go like a Boone's Farm or something. And as far as cheap wine goes, I haven't had a lot. I've had the Boone's Farm Strawberry, and I've had a couple different MD 2020s. Those are terrible. Mad Dog, I'll get to reviewing them eventually, but all they do is give me a headache. I can't even finish a bottle. I'll get, you know, the regular size bottle. I'll drink half of it, and I'm not drunk. I'm not buzzed. I'm just going, oh my God, why am I drinking this? Jesus Christ, I could have just got like a tall boy of Ice House, and I would have enjoyed that a lot more. But, I mean, this, it's, it's light, it's pretty refreshing, um, it's carbonated, which is weird, you know, this isn't champagne, but I guess you could say it's sparkling wine, although, 
Nothing on here says anything about sparkling wine. It just says Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill, Hill flavored citrus wine. But I will give it one thing. The bottle, kind of cover up the uh, glare there. The bottle doesn't look bad. This looks like, like if I didn't know what Boone's Farm was, and if I didn't know anything about wine, I don't know a lot about wine, but if I, if I knew absolutely nothing about wine and I saw this sitting on someone's counter, I'd go, oh, that looks nice. And honestly, it's not bad. Like I said, don't bring this to a dinner party. I'm gonna go ahead and light a smoke. Got my PBR ashtray. I just punched the top out of a can. We got an ashtray. Hell, there's probably an ashtray in the bedroom and that pack's empty. So, I remember back in the day, a couple of y'all wanted to see me open a pack and smoke some fresh ones. I don't know. Honestly, one of my coworkers thinks some of y'all have a smoking fetish. I'll just keep that between me and you, though. But, yeah, so there you go. And my OCD is going to kill me because rip that a little bit. That's going to be really annoying. But, anyway, good old Winston Reds. I'm still pissed off that RJ Reynolds gave this brand up for Newport, but I'm also not a menthol smoker. But ITG and uh, yeah, Greensboro, North Carolina, are still doing a good job maintaining a pretty good quality. And they're additive free, and hell, you can't say that about even some of the American spirits. And Captain Hook's just sitting here next to me, laying around. He's just like, oh, fuck. He, he's, he's confused right now. And if you're wondering why his name's Captain Hook, because I'm going to have to go ahead and stretch this video out, because there's, like I said, not much to say about this. Um, there's a bunch of stray kittens, all look just like him around my friend's trailer, and I was living with my friend at the time. And one of the kittens got caught in my friend's brother's treble hook, you know, he used for fish and everything. And, you know, got his paw caught in it. So I decided to take him to a uh, animal hospital. It was late at night, you know, and spent money on him to get fixed, get stitched up. And my friend's dad was like, well, that's your cat now. You spent the money on him, that's your cat. It's a stray cat. You spent money on him, that is your cat. I was like, okay. He goes, well, you got to come up with a name. And I'm like, whatever. I'll think about it. I'll give it a day or two. And he goes, Captain Hook. I'm like, there you go. There's a name. So, Captain Hook it is. My little buddy. Anyway, back to the Boone's Farm. Um, it's not bad. By no means compared to... If we're talking about actual, like, really rough bum wine, your MD 2020s, I don't know if they still make it, but your Thunderbirds, stuff like that. This at least, you know, like I said, at least it's mild. At least it's sweet. It can kind of stick to your mouth a little bit after a while. If you drink, like, a couple of bottles of these, which I have done, you get that little that sticky, overbearing sweetness. But I mean, hey, if, if that's an issue for you, keep a glass of water, wash your mouth out every once in a while. But I'm just gonna go ahead and rate this. There's actually, before I rate it, I do wanna thank everyone uh, who viewed the last video. I got a, a decent amount of comments so far. People saying, you know, nice to see you back and all that. Someone, you know, said, sorry to hear about your grandmother. Thank you for your condolences. Um, you know, everybody just, you know, I appreciate the fact that people enjoy these videos. I honestly, you know, it'd be cool to be a famous YouTuber. Oh, you know, but I mean, it's kind of hard to become a famous YouTuber when you're just a drunk sitting in front of your iPhone. I'll just go ahead and show you the camera stand I'm using. It's a thing of peanuts. Yeah. Which, when I was in the shop, I just used a couple uh, paint jugs. Or paint buckets and I'll just set my phone on that and prop it up on an ashtray so as you can see um, I'm not exactly the high-tech type but I, I just I just appreciate that people out here enjoy listening to me talk and give my opinion because I, honestly I, I like to talk and ramble so it's a this is a good little outlet for me just to ramble for a little bit so I appreciate everyone you know who has watched the videos and everyone who has you know commented and talk about how happy they were to see me back and I'm just happy that I can make other people happy just by sitting around drinking a couple beers well 
I guess it's about time to give the final rate in here. Honestly, for the price, like I said, this is about, with taxes, $4 a bottle. I mean, like I said, don't bring it to a dinner party. If you're going to bring bottom barrel stuff to a dinner party, bring Sutter House or Yellowtail or the bare, that, you know, Barefoot or whatever. But if you're just sitting around your house, hanging out with your cat, watching the uh, NHRA Indy Nationals, well, it's not a bad... Not a bad change from beer. And I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a six out of 10. It doesn't do anything particularly amazing. If you're a wine drinker and I hand you a bottle of this, you can go, oh, that's just, that's, that's, man, this is just sugar water. You know, but, you know, getting it every once in a while just for shits and giggles. It's fine, it's, it's, it's nothing about it's offensive. It's a little bit sweet, but it has a tartness that kind of uh, balances that out. And it has a, uh, the carbonation as a Christmas, Christmas, no, crispness to it. That kind of makes it refreshing. It, like I said, it sticks to the mouth a little bit, but at the same time, it, it's a tad dry. I know, you know, those are kind of conflicting uh, traits, but you know, it, the finish isn't too long. It doesn't stick to your mouth too much. But like I said, being that it is a little bit sweet, it's going to stick after a while if you drink a whole bunch of these. But I'll go ahead and give it a 6 out of 10. For the price, it's a solid product. Go ahead and try it. Worst case scenario, you're going to go, oh, I hate this. And then you can, you know, you can find a friend and go, hey, you want this? So at least it's not going to be wasted. No one's going to, you know, really go, oh, wow, that's awful. It's just... It's fine. Six out of ten. So anyway, like, rate, and subscribe if you feel like you want to. If you don't, whatever. Make sure to spade and neuter your animals. Oh, Captain Hook here. I do need to get him neutered. I don't need this old boy knocking up any other kittens. Not kittens. Knocking up any other cats and getting kittens. Already knocked up my friend's cat. He's a little whore, I guess. Anyway, you know, just like his, just like his old man. He likes to chase him tail. But yeah, make sure to spade and neuter your pets and kill your local pedophile. Have a nice day, and hopefully you're drinking something good.